Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday. All right, let's first talk about this box. All right, this is what arrived. Um, well, it folds down in there, but still, this is what the Alta New stuff arrived in. That is such a gorgeous box. Like, I do not want to throw this away. I think that is so pretty. And I'm going to, like, get inspired with cards and colors just using that. So, I may just keep that lid or maybe just keep the whole box. I don't know. Okay, so today I have um, part Frantic Stamper, part Alta New, but to be honest, the Frantic Stamper stuff is pretty much all Alta New too, so <laughs> except a few things. I also have some AliExpress and some Dollar Tree. So let's get going. All right, so I'm trying out some embossing, oops, some embossing powder. Um, this is called Antique Gold, uh, Golden Peach, and Translucent Pearl. So, I'm excited to try oops, those out. Um, then, you guys know I have um, the little tiny square ink pads um, from Alta New, and I have most of them. I ordered uh, quite a large set several years ago. Um, now, they have come out with re-inkers. So, I'm trying to decide. I really, I ordered a pad the other day, um, and I really like using the large pads. Like, they're so much nicer. Um, so now I don't know whether to invest in some of the larger pads in my favorite colors. Pretty much just like some greens, some pinks, some purples, maybe a blue. Um, or get reinkers for my little square pads and like cover them all over the stamp. Like it, I don't know. We'll talk about that later. But let me know what you think of these. Um, they're, they're similar to the square ones as far as like soaking in time and all that but um yeah I don't know. so anyway so midnight violet lavender fields uh soft lilac or something like that and deep iris so a pretty uh, version of purple there all right next up we have let's see these i am obsessed with um Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of enamel dots from most companies, um, but I see them on the Alta New website and whatever, I mean, videos, and like they're adding them, and they really make it pop, um, but I thought, eh, is that really going to be, like in real life, you know, once you get them, is it the same? And these are so lovely and so pretty, like they're just, I don't know, it's like a different look than my normal enamel dots. I don't know if it's the color or just the feel, better quality, I'm not sure, but I am in love with these. This is called Tea Party and Rock Collection, and I will definitely be ordering more of these. I, um, I'm very impressed. Um, I got this uh, embossing folder called Bunch of Balloons. I think that will make like just an awesome background for anything birthday-ish, you know. Um, and then this little stamp set called Vintage Roses. And it's just a little add-on stamp set. I think it was $4, $4.99 maybe. Um, but you can do a lot with it. So we're going to play around with that some. Um, then... Well, let me show you this stuff, and then I'll show you my favorite thing at the end. Um, okay, so I've been wanting these Versatile Vases stamp sets. Um, and this is Versatile Vases 2, okay? Um, and lots of great sentiments. They always have the best sentiments. Um, just checking in, I admire you. Um, just stuff you don't always see other places. Sending hugs and kisses, that's pretty generic, but I'm so proud of you. You're amazing. Thank you for everything. You make me smile. You are the sweetest uh, with sympathy. Just stuff you can use, you know? So anyway, so here are the stamps, dies, and then there's a stencil set as well with that one. Okay, so then this is the original uh, Versatile Vases, and um, so I wanted the whole shebang there, the stamps, the dies, and the the stencil or mask stuff. Okay, this is the only flower set that I got from them this time. It's called Wallpaper Art, and um, just gorgeous. I just keep seeing amazing samples, and I'm, I just can't stop, y'all. I just can't stop. Um, okay, now I wanted to try their red cardstock because I try everybody's red cardstock, hoping that it's like the real red from stamping up, and it never is. 
um, but this is apple red cardstock. It does have a nice feel to it. Um, it's a, just a little bit deeper than my than the Stampin' Up Red. I'm just going to have to give up, guys, and order again from them. I keep saying it. I keep fussing about it. I'm just going to have to. But I just hate paying, like, shipping and tax and just everything. I don't know. Um, okay. So, this is from um, Frantic Stamper. And this is the Essential Craft Papers by Craft Consortium. Uh, it's called Brick Textures. And y'all know I'm a, a slightly obsessed with brick, right? So, look at all this beautiful brick paper. OMG. I love it. Look at that. That is pretty. So, I'm just going to get the 6x6, six six, but mm, I just wanted the 12x12. 12 12. Yes, I did. So, <laughs> I just love it. Um... Alright, then the other thing I got was from Impression Obsession. It says, relax. We're all crazy. It's not a competition. Very cute. Okay, so my favorite thing that I got was markers. Uh, so I tried some of their, um, some of their, um, this over here. Okay, so I tried some of their, um, markers and I was in love and I've been looking to add to my collection of Copics right so um but I saw so many samples with these and I thought well let me try these out and you know what's uh, you can use all alcohol markers together right so um but let's go with this so we got a sunshine valley garden set here um but I just I look at the like this they come in this and you can like prop it up somehow i'm not sure how yet but that's what they said online <laughs> um but it's got the number here it's got the number here um so it's got this tip i have to have a brush tip and then it's got the fine tip which i like i don't like the bullet tip of the um the copics but i do love the brush in so but anyway, it, they're just such gorgeous colors. And I also, like I have my markers. Let me try to, oh, this is gonna be, oh, I don't know if I can do it. I'm gonna tilt you guys over right there my, are my markers. Okay, they're like stacked in this big thing. Um, but, um, and I, I kinda wanna sort these with those as well, but I also wanna keep them in their color family. Like this and they're set so I'm gonna struggle with that let me tell you but um, so let me know do you split them up do you keep them in the color set or what but look at these gorgeous colors they're like these are muted and gorgeous I love them so excited to play with these Boy, oh, I'm sorry well here let me just show you this um, so this is the primary essential set um, a set C and the last one is the Island Garden set so yes and that'll list all the colors and things for you all right so I'm super excited for those really 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 excited more excited than I've been in a long time okay so now let's go to Dollar Tree so I went to Dollar Tree haven't been there since they raised the prices um, to $1.25 that really bothers me <laughs> Um, I know it's only 25 cents, but it adds up, let me tell you. Okay, so I got three packs of the um, Pop Dot tape, and I really do like this. I tried it, well, probably with you guys on here, um, but yes, I, I definitely liked it. I was very impressed, and I feel like even at the $1.25 price point, it's still better than, yeah, I don't know what I was paying. Um, for the Scotch brand, and this peels and tears and things, and is just as thick as the Scotch brand because they like shrunk the Scotch brand. Okay, so this is also the Squ Crafter Square. Uh, this is the double sided tape, though. This I have not tried, but I probably am not going back for a while. So, um, just because I'm mad that dollar twenty-five still. Anyway, uh, so I did pick up three of these because I am needing some uh, thin type tape. So I figured, why not? Uh, next, I have these three things. I found some cool, uh, like chipboard, I guess, laser cut craft uh, chipboard keys and some cool owls. So there's two of each. I think there's two. 
yeah, there's two of each. Um, so that's going to be nice. And then I picked up this sticker set um, just for scrapbooking some stuff about my mother. And um, so home is where the heart is and uh, family and this is my, our happy place and home and that kind of thing. And then the last thing I found at the Dollar Tree was this. This is not adorable. It's the cutest little cutting board ever. Or cutting mat, I guess you could say. I think that is so cute. And sometimes you do just need to cut a little whatever. And I've got like a really big one. And I don't want to necessarily drag that out. I think that's adorable. And so worth a dollar. So, alright. Next up we have the um, some AliExpress stuff. So I was not expecting these to come in this fast. But I'm excited that they did for spring. Um, alright. Look who's hopping down the bunny trail. Chocolate enclosed. Hoppy Easter. And it's just uh, ears and the little bow. And hopefully that does work to cut it out. Sometimes I've had dies that are a little bit off. But it looks like that one's going to be fine. So, yay. Then there was this one. Get your bunny on. And then there was this one. Um, I don't know what that says. But this is wanted. And the bunny is taking his little, um, you know, what's it called? Your mug shot. Um, then this one came. This is just like the Gentleman Rabbits. Um, I did go ahead and pre-order that set because I did not think it would be here. But sure enough, it's here. Who knows? Um, I love this. Great, fabulous bunny dye. I'm, I'm so into some bunny gel. Um, and then this is a really cool... I'm going to do... Probably over spring break, we're going to work on some... Uh, mushroom cards here. I like that. And then a bunny uh, stencil. So that is it for me today, y'all. Um, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to go grab a snack and I'm going to get to crafting today. So I will talk to y'all later. Love you guys. Bye.